Hey guys, it's Gabby and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be taking you along with us as we completely renovate our backyard courtyard. This video has been a long time coming. Some of this footage dates back two years. So I'm gonna be doing this series in two parts. Excuse me. Today's video is going to be about how we landscape lighting and I'm also gonna be showing you how we were able to completely paint our concrete floor. So. We have a lot to cover today. Before we get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below with what you guys think, and as always, be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoy all things home decor, room makeovers, DIYs, and everything else in between. Now, without further ado, let's get started. This is what the backyard looked like when we first purchased the home. As you can see, there's a lot going on. It is clear that this space had not gotten any love for a very long time. The floors and walls were really dirty and the landscaping was really old, overgrown, and really needed to be trimmed back. A lot of the landscaping also really couldn't be saved because of where it was placed. And so we decided the best plan forward was to completely remove all of the landscaping. Shout out to my husband for removing everything because this was a really tough job. Like I said, a lot of the plants were old and so their roots were really deep. And so it took quite a bit, but we were able to remove everything and completely start off with a fresh canvas. And so once everything was removed, you can see there's a lot of red going on in this courtyard between the brick, the floors. And so we really wanted to make sure that our design balanced out all that red. So speaking of design, this is the inspiration that we are going off of. Of. I cannot take credit for any of this. I'm gonna give all of the credit to my father. He is really good at landscaping and design in general. This is the Pinterest board that he sent me. The theme in general is kind of English secret garden. All the flowers are going to be white because we wanted to go with the moon garden theme. A lot of greens. There's a lot of fountains in his Pinterest board and so we wanted to come up with some sort of focal point with the fountain. And so now that we have an inspiration for this backyard, it is time to go shopping. Purchased mostly everything from Home Depot and Pikes and we were able to bring everything home I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on what plants we ended up going with um, But these are all the plants that we got We also decided to pick up some topsoil and cow manure to um, bring nutrients back into the ground And then for the actual fountain we decided to lay it on top of stones Which is what you see here and then have two trellises in the background speaking of fountains We were able to find this one off of Lowe's only problem with it is that it's this concrete gray color, which we did not want to go with at all. So we decided to spray paint it. In order to spray paint it, we had to go in first with a waterproof membrane, since there is going to be water coming in and out of this fountain. And once that dried, we went in with black spray paint. And then we decided that we also wanted to spray paint the trellises black. Or when I posted this content on TikTok, a lot of you guys were wondering where I got the fountain from. I will be sure to link it down below if they still sell it. So now that that everything was spray painted and everything was kind of drying we decided to start laying out where all the landscaping was going tried to keep everything as symmetrical as possible with the fountain being the focal point so we have hydrangeas these are gardenias this one's a boxwood some jasmine back there some petunias and then these are Hostage. Now that we came up with a layout that we really liked, we wanted to go ahead and add in landscape edging. We ended up picking up this one off of Amazon. It's from a brand called Vibor. We really liked it because it came in black. It was simple. It was also really easy to work with. Once everything was in, we went ahead and added our soil mixture again to bring nutrients back into the earth so that our plants could thrive. And then it was time to plant. Once all the plants were in, we went in with mulch. We decided to go with black mulch just because I feel like black mulch is a lot nicer.
All right, so at this point, all of the landscaping is in and it looks so good. Now that the landscaping is in, it is time to start working on the lighting, which is another thing that my dad fully designed on his own. This is the inspo. I'll be sure to list the website where he got all of the lighting right here and also link it down below. put everything together spray paint it and put it up and this is what it came out like ah! Yay! once we had the main source of light up it was time to add string lights the first thing we needed to do was add hooks to the walls in order for the lights to hang michael was able to put in all of the eye hook we ended up going with five total so there's one two three on this wall and then one two on this one. So now that all the eye hooks are up, we are going to go ahead and feed all of this wire through them. Michael ended up picking a hundred feet of this wire up from Home Depot. With string lights, you wanna make sure that you, you hang them off of galvanized wire and not just free hang them. It just allows the lights to be a little bit more sturdy. Okay, so he went ahead and hooked it on to the first hook and now we're going to the second hook. We ended up picking up these string lights off of Amazon. We went with 100 feet. What was really important to us was that these lights were solar powered because we did not have an outlet on the side where we wanted to start the lights. The only thing I wanted in this whole courtyard was string lights and I'm so glad we were able to put those up. And this is how our courtyard sat for about a year until it was time to start working on the floors. It was really hard to enjoy the beautiful landscaping and lighting that we had just installed because the courtyard was just so dirty. So we decided to go in and finally paint the floors. As you can see from the size of all the plants, it was a full year after we landscaped. And so the first thing we did to prepare the floor for paint was we pressure washed everything. We are getting ready to power wash the floor because it is actually disgusting. We're also gonna go ahead and do the walls while we're here. This is the power washer that we're using. We're using the Rayobi electric pressure washer. And then there's also this like attachment that we bought with it. And so that is what we're using. We're gonna go ahead and get started. day two of this courtyard floor makeover yesterday we went ahead and pressure washed the entire courtyard and to be honest i'm not sure if it made it look better or worse but i know that now it's clean so that's all that matters so today i'm going to go ahead and start priming um but before i prime i want to give the entire floor one good last sweep and then i'm going to cut all the corners and paint the floor so we'll see how it goes it is 120 now i'm hoping to finish this up in like two hours but
right y'all so i finished priming the floors and they are looking extremely bright as i paint this whole thing i'm looking at the crack on the ground and i'm wondering if it's worth filling at this point or not or if we should just leave it let me know what you think down below when i started this project it said that it wasn't gonna rain but as i finished there is now a 51 percent chance of it raining in an hour if it does end up raining hopefully it doesn't mess it up too much it's been drying for about an hour now crossing my fingers that it doesn't end up raining but this is what it's looking like and i'll update you guys tomorrow when i go in with the first layer of paint All right, so day three, and this is what the courtyard floor is looking like. It is completely white and very bright. And so I got up early today, and I'm going to go ahead and tackle the first coat of paint. Overall thoughts of how it went yesterday, I think you definitely should cut first. Just know it's going to take a little bit longer. And then once you go in with the roller, things go by really fast. And then also just be strategic with where you're painting first. I started off on the back corner just because I knew I needed to get into my house. And so I started in the back corner and then went over to where my garage is and then went forward into my home. Um, that way I could get into my house and not have to cross the paint. So just be aware of where you're painting. Um, have that planned out before you do it. But yeah, let's get started with day three of the courtyard makeover. So the color we went with is called Downtown Gray by Bear, and I feel like it's the most concrete looking gray possible. And so that's what we went with. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the same steps I took yesterday and um, cutting and then rolling it out on the floor. decided to patch the cracks in the concrete using like concrete crack filler which worked out really great but the only thing I would do differently is fill in the cracks before we paint because the concrete color did not match the paint that we went with. After letting the floors cure for a couple of days and adding sealant this is how they came out. And that is it for part one of the courtyard makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit subscribe because in the next video I'm going to be showing you all how we furnished and decorated the courtyard yard and of course the final reveal so you're not going to want to miss it be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below with what you guys think thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video bye